Hi guys, it's Izzy, and if you see me pick stuff up in this video and I'm like, <laughs> oh no no, and I can't grab them, basically I thought it'd be a really good idea to get acrylic nails done. And by get done, I mean buy a professional nail kit off Amazon or eBay, one of the two, and do them myself because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and let's just say they don't actually look that professional. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> also, I didn't realise until I literally started talking in this video, but my hearing's going in my left ear. And I don't know why, so if I sound really weird in this video, that's why. So that's the setup of this video done. This is basically what it's going to be like for the rest of it. Hi, if you're new, this is basically the content of my channel. <laughs> Absolutely professional intro out the way I thought it's time to actually get on to the content of this video and if you haven't already read the title as most of you probably have let's face it this is going to be my October is interview and if you didn't know what an is interview is I've been doing them for basically this entire year on my channel every month so basically it is where I Izzy interview three wonderful people. Actually this month it's only going to be two because I'm really good at organising things and I don't leave them to the last minute at all. Joking I do. So I left this one a little late to organise. I'm so sorry girls who are taking part but like literally I just left it way too late to organise and it got to the point where I was like I can't ask another person to come and do it at this point because that would just not be fair. So the first person I'm collabing with, I've actually collabed with her before on my work morning routine and I had so much fun filming it and posting that video and collabing with her so I thought you know what I'm just going to invite her onto my is interview series because she is so lovely and so so supportive so I thought I would support her back with my series and this girl is the wonderful, the beautiful Sharnella from XOXONella here on YouTube. She does a range of different videos on her channel including makeup and what I've been loving on her channel lately is the youtuber makeup series that she's doing so she takes your favorite youtubers and then she does a tutorial on how to achieve their look and honestly they have been slaying like all the looks she's been doing have just been like yes that that looks like them well done and honestly she's just so talented so if you want to check out her channel i will leave it in the description below please please do the second person i'm collabing is the wonderful nick from nick knack and i absolutely adore her channel like she's just so adorable like i literally just love her personality so much she does a range of different videos on her channel like she does diys beauty videos like morning routines like she does the lot and she's so talented and you know when you can just see that someone's going to go far on youtube that's her so yeah if you want to support her as well please please do like she has an amazing channel and I will leave that in the description below so thank you very much girls for taking part so I'm gonna get started with Nella's question so the first one is if you could give your younger self advice what would it be so my piece of advice to my younger self would to be stop caring about what everyone thinks of you so much like literally to put it bluntly they literally just don't care about you that much Ooh, I really like the look of her second question. If you could only film one type of video for three months, what would it be? And at the moment, oh, like I don't know, I really like doing a range of different videos, but I think if I could film something and I could actually get away with filming it, I would film the sort of skip videos, like I would kind of put my routines into that category as well. Like I love filming stuff that's a bit different and not just sitting down chatty. Like I film a lot of the sit down chatty videos anyway, but I really enjoy them as well. But I would do a lot of things where I could like move my camera about, do a bit of skit and funny little things and yes, I just like filming those sorts of stuff. The stuff that's a bit different and a bit izzy -y. Is that a word? Izzy? No, it's not a word. Easy. But I would just film something that would be a little bit different. And her third question is, what do you love the most about being a part of YouTube? And I think I've said it before because I literally like never stop talking about how much I love this aspect. It is just the community. Like today, for example, I have two wonderful YouTube friends that have actually like wanted to take part in this collab and that's so sweet of them like honestly I literally can't believe someone said yeah okay I'll collab with you like honestly they're so sweet and so supportive and even just going to somewhere in the city like going to the YouTube events it's just like so heartwarming because you like look around a room you're like wow everyone has the same hobby as me and that's quite rare like I never come across people in my life well, I do sometimes but like a lot of people in my everyday life don't get the whole YouTube thing and they're like oh that's a bit uh, whatever is if that makes you happy then do it but like people don't understand the like joy that I get from it so when I'm like around other people in the community that all feel the same way people like me out there oh my god guys I literally can't hear a thing out of this ear so I'm sorry if I'm sounding like really really like 
nasally is that a word or just like really like blah, 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 blah. um but basically this i literally can't hear what i'm saying so i'm <laughs> just hope i'm making sense I'm gonna be moving on to knickknacks questions now and her first one is what do you like the smell of there are three things in my life that i really really like the smell of and the first thing is roses oh, i just love anything to do with roses and then the second one is mint basically it's just a nice fresh clean cleanliness smell it just smells so good and fresh and the third thing is this yankee candle which i've actually got behind the camera so i'll go grab that <laughs> i literally can't bring myself to light this candle because it smells so good and i don't want it to go ever but it is the yankee candle under the palms oh my god my ears just popped oh i can hear things now oh it's popped back uh it's starting to pop, I can start to hear things, isn't that exciting? Huh? This is the under the palms candle and literally it smells like being on holiday. I've said it before in a video I think because I love this one. Her second question is what is your favourite skincare product? And I'm going to say something that's going to get me completely kicked out of the beauty community which I love very dearly. But at the moment, I, I don't use many skincare products. So literally other than removing my makeup and using moisturiser, I don't do much with my skincare at the moment and I'm just like, why do I have so many spots? Why do I have so many spots? Like, ew. So yeah, I brought that one on myself, but what can you do other than use skincare products? And her third one is, what is your favourite weird food combination? And I definitely have one. Me and my mum, we've got this weird food combination. So you know the macaroni cheese when you leave it in the oven and it goes crispy on top for a little bit. Not burnt, but like crispy with the cheese and everything we like to eat that with jam and sugar <laughs> like don't judge us okay it tastes good so now i'm going to answer the third set of questions in this video which are actually my own ones that i asked because why not answer your own eh eh so the first question well it's not really a question but i just thought it'd be fun to see everyone else's answers it is put your playlist on shuffle and what are the five first songs that come up and this playlist is full of songs that i just consider to be the greatest songs ever written by mankind so let's just have a look i'm going to turn the volume away up so you guys can hear it too and i'm going to literally just press shuffle did it work oh so that was eyes shut by years and years and i'm going to go on to the second one This is, what's it called again? Oh, Stay With Me by Sam Smith. I th was going to say like I can, but it's not like I can by Sam Smith. It's Stay With Me. Okay. Battlefield by Jordan Sparks. Is pink, who knew? Yeah, it is. You took my hand, you showed me how you promised me you'd be around. Uh -huh. And then the fourth song, let's go on. <laughs> this is She Moves in Her Own Way by The Kooks. And then the fifth one, last but not least, is I don't need an introduction for this song, it's just a tune. So they were all my songs, I, I thought something more embarrassing would come up, not gonna lie, I'm not even... Oh, started playing. Huh. There's a bit of One Direction for you, um, but yeah, I've got quite a few weird songs on here, so I thought something actually shameful would come up, but I actually i am not even ashamed of any of them. They're all tunes, I would cast them as top bangers. They are absolutely on point, on fleek. I'm so with the kids. Let's see if something embarrassing really does come up, like, literally just shuffle. No, just... Oh. Uh -huh. Everybody get down 
And number two is if you could apply for any TV show, which one would you choose? And I ask this because I literally have an obsession. If you know me as a person or know me in person, you will know that I sign myself and people I know up for TV shows just just because I'm bored and I do that when I'm bored. But at the moment I'm looking to apply for Big Brother just because I think that would be banter. So I've been looking at when they're taking the applications but they, they don't seem to be open at the moment. And number three is what is the biggest white lie you've told? So the biggest white lie I've probably told is like probably to my parents when they're like Izzy what are you going to do with your day to day when I'm not working and I'm like Oh, I'll be productive. I won't just do YouTube all day. And I do YouTube all day, every day. So that was my latest is interview. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Sorry that there was only two people this month, but like, honestly, their channels definitely make up for the fact that there was only two people. They slay. And please, please, please check them out. They are in the description below, along with all the girls' social media accounts and my social media accounts. So if you want to check them out and say hi to us over there. I'm sure I'm speaking for all of us when I say that would be much appreciated. And if you're new to me or their channels, then feel free to hit that subscribe button. It's free. <laughs> and I make new videos every single Wednesday and Friday at 5pm. So if you want to stick around to then, then that would be cool. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye.